Welcome back Cyber Warriors. In today's proof of concept POC video, I'll show you how I found a simple reflected XSS vulnerability in just 10 minutes. Let's dive straight into it. Here's our target. First, I'll open it in my browser. You can see the web application in action. To gather some initial reconnaissance, I'm using Wappalizer. Wappalizer identifies web technologies, CMS frameworks, e-commerce platforms, JavaScript libraries, and much more. From the output, I can see the site is running WordPress version 6.7.1. The backend database is MySQL, the firewall is Cloudflare, and the programming language is PHP. With this information, we've got a solid understanding of the target's tech stack. Next, I'll use Shodan to look for any exposed information about our target. Unfortunately, the results weren't as expected, so let's move forward. Now let's see how many subdomains the target has. I'm using Subfinder for this. It found nine subdomains. Let's filter them with grep and asset finder, then save the output to a file. Using HTTPX, I identified four alive subdomains with a status code 200 OK. Now I'll check each one manually by opening them in new tabs. One of the subdomains, vpn.cybernext.io, is using a reverse proxy with OpenVPN. While there's potential to explore more here, I'll stay focused on hunting for cross-site scripting XSS vulnerabilities. On the main page, I check the robots.txt file. It allows access to the WordPress admin panel. That's good to know. I tested the subdomain with a simple HTML script, but it didn't work. No worries, we'll move on to inspecting the page source and testing for DOM or stored XSS payloads. The target has a search input field. I tried various XSS payloads, but they were either not accepted or reflected errors. Next, I used encoding methods, including double encoding, but still didn't get any results. I then used an extension to automate payload testing. 
It simplifies the process with pre-saved or custom payloads. Even after running multiple tests, the extension didn't find any reflections or payload executions. <laughs> Target also has a chatbot. Before recording this video, I tested it with various payloads like PDFs, images, and JavaScript scripts. Let's try them again. <laughs> Yes, the payload is reflecting Hello World. This confirms the XSS vulnerability. Another payload also works. With this evidence, I can report the bug to the target program with impactful details. Finally, let me show you how to create malicious payload files like PDFs for XSS exploitation in file upload fields. My favorite tool for this is JS2 PDF Injector. Clone the tool from GitHub, create a JavaScript file with your XSS payload, and combine it with a normal PDF. Run the command java-jar js to pdf injector one gar to convert your JavaScript into a malicious PDF. And just like that, your file is ready to exploit XSS vulnerabilities in file upload fields. That's it for today's video. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and keep hacking. Bye-bye.